Welcome back to the channel. Today I present to you questions with Valerie. Um, Valerie was the lead actress in my most recent short film, In Front of You. Uh, the link for In Front of You is in the description down below. Today Valerie talks about her acting and writing experience. Uh, she also talks about her experience of making In Front of You. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Join me on the road to 100 subscribers. Hi, my name is Valerie Isaiah Sado and I play Tosin in In Front of You. Yeah, so we both trained at Identity School of Acting and I think that is probably the foundation of everything I am today as in, in terms of like being an artist because I, I write and I'm also a, pro a producer as well but I think the passion the passion of identity is something that will never leave you you're surrounded by like-minded people you are just honing your craft and and getting better and achieving goals and I think it was the first time I ever felt like oh wow you know we can do this because there was just so much faith in in ourselves as as artists and like Femi, he had faith in us, the teachers had faith, faith in us and they were such good teachers that you probably wouldn't get other, in other places because when you're at certain drama schools they have their teachers but this place was just like a mix of voice, we had the, like the best movement teacher Greta, we had directors who specialised in different um, specialities in craft and we were just exposed to so much and I think, ooh, I don't know, I just, I think being at identity is one of those things that you kind of feel like special that you went and um, I learned so much there. I mean, in terms of a particular teacher, I would probably say, I have two teachers in mind actually. So my first ever teacher there was uh, Toby Bakari. And I think it was just so good to learn from a, another actor, but an actor that had, had um, honed their craft a bit more than you. So it was really easy to relate to him. He, he taught in a way where it was actor led. So you, you we were speaking the same language and and I feel like I really got to play when I was in his in his class and yeah and and, and we were challenged and I think that's something that we you, you know you normally don't get when you do drama in like um, in school it's kind of like oh you did great uh, you spoke in front of people but it was like challenge to to connect to the piece to connect to the audience to to tr to try a a way into a character that was slightly different and I think another teacher that I really really loved was Greta the movement teacher but she was just fantastic like the first time I ever felt like oh my gosh I my body is in the role as well and and how much impact walking as a character is um being free having a presence on stage, that kind of importance was was finally, um, that light bulb went off for me and I was like, okay, yeah, you know, I am, my entire being is an actor, not just in my head and trying to figure out what the intentions of the other person is and stuff like that, so yeah. Yeah, so uh, like I said before, I'm also a playwright and um, again, without identity, I probably wouldn't because at identity, you get to play so many different roles. And I realized that there wasn't many roles for me, especially as a darker skinned black woman who was quite young. The roles just seemed to be very monotone and in one direction. And I wanted to play these massive roles and these challenging roles and, and I wanted to do so on stage, on film. So I felt like if I can write the kind of roles I am looking for, that would be great. And um, 
I started writing and I thought if there was one play that I could write what would it be and it turned out to be Pussy Liberty which is the name of my debut play um, and it's about millennial feminism, gender roles, sexual assault, surviving sexual assault, it's about um, rite of passage as a woman and coming to terms with who you are and putting to putting your trauma to bed and things like that so you know with a little bit of dark humor and all the things I love to see in in theater outbursts and a, a dress to the audience and um flashback in time and all that kind of stuff and yeah and I've continued my writing journey by going and doing a master's which I just finished in um dramatic writing or writing for performance uh and wrote a load more things that I'm really passionate about. So those should be coming out soon or fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when I write, I don't particularly write for me myself, but I write for women who look like me. So if I don't play it, I'm also giving a chance to someone who looks like me to play those roles. And I also write a vast amount of diversity in all my plays because that's the world we live in and that's, what I want reflected on paper. My experience of In Front of You was great because I had taken quite a few years off of acting to do my masters and also to um, to work, that horrible thing. So um, it was nice to, to get back in front of the camera for the first time and it's nice having a small team to ease you back in and everyone was really nice and um yeah everyone was really nice and it was great to to work with another actor face to face especially after lockdown and um Jinji he you <laughs> you uh were great in like giving us freedom in the, in the characters but also uh, letting us know what you wanted and what you wanted to see Probably no, not from anyone. There is something that I say before I um, audition or even get on stage and that is just do it and do it well. <laughs> and um, so I think it's kind of a rip off from Nike, isn't it? But it is, it's, it's just go for it. And and I like to say when I come off of, of um, stage, if I can't remember what I did, then I did good, you know? because you have to be entirely in it. You can't be thinking about what you look like, what you sound like. You just have to embody it and get on and do the character. So if I, if I can't remember how I did the take or how I did in that show, then I know it's good. <laughs> how did I watch it? I think I watched it first on my phone and then you know, because I was so excited, I was like, oh, let me see this. And then I went back and watched it on my laptop so I can like sit back and take it in. Where can people find me? Ooh. If you want to find me for like, you probably do want to find me for um, acting and producing stuff as opposed to just me <laughs> and my face. But if you want to find me for acting stuff, Twitter's probably the best. And my Twitter is at Valley Me, which is B-A-L-L-E-Y-M-E. And I do talk about acting stuff and writing, but also rubbish as well in there. But thank you so much for having me. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I'd like to thank Valerie for taking part in today's video. Uh, what did you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.